This afternoon we're discussing uh, a significant potential threat to Texas, one that could run this nation's strongest economy right off the tracks into the ditch, in our collective opinion. Uh, up here with me today are members of the Texas Advisory Panel on Federal Environmental Regulations. That's a group that I created uh, at the beginning of this month to get a handle on some of the regulations that uh, are taking shape at the federal level. I'll introduce them uh, individually here in just a moment, but uh, I'd like to start by providing an overview of uh, where we stand as a state and discuss uh, serious uh, conflict that is brewing in uh, Washington, D.C. As you well know, Texas is the uh, nation's energy leader. We produce uh, more fossil fuel than any state. Uh, we refine more gasoline than anyone else. We produce the chemicals that uh, keep businesses moving. But the most important byproduct of uh, that activity can be summed up in a very short number of words, jobs for Texans. As you well know, our nation and the world are in serious economic uh, trouble. However, Texas is doing much better than average uh, as a result of a few key things. Uh, first, our economy is very diverse, substantially more so than it was when our oil industry uh, crashed back in the 1980s, Michael. Uh, uh, more so than when the internet bubble burst uh, at the beginning of this decade. A second, our business climate encourages risk and investment with its low taxes, its sensible regulatory environment, a legal system that keeps frivolous lawsuits to a minimum. As a result, we are still the nation's top exporting state, top job creating state, and home to more Fortune 500 companies than any other state in the nation. Despite these tough economic times, our state's unemployment rate is a full percentage point below the national average. Bottom line, we're doing a lot of things right in Texas, in spite of Washington, D.C.'s efforts to help. <laughs> Unfortunately, Washington has Texas in its sights. Uh, the EPA is making plans to reinterpret the Federal Clean Air Act in ways that will uh, these, in ways that were never contemplated uh, when this law was passed, ways that will ultimately cripple the Texas economy. If EPA moves to include greenhouse gases in the Clean Air Act, it will expand their power into virtually every sector of the economy, having a massively negative impact. At a time when jobs across the country are disappearing and the federal government is throwing hundreds of billions of dollars of taxpayers' money at failing companies, it strikes me as rather odd that they would be actively working to do more economic harm. The changes they are contemplating will wrap miles and miles of red tape uh, around a whole new set of people. And this is very important. The, 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 the folks that this, these regulations will impact are owners of commercial buildings, churches, of small farms, hotels, hospitals, even large residential uh, homes. And, and in doing so, it will choke off innovation and reverse the growth that we're seeing in this state. These changes and their impacts on energy producers will also ratchet up the cost of energy, which will ultimately think, make things tougher uh, on employers and, and families all across Texas and the nation. If the EPA thinks sweeping government mandate is required to spur the creation and adoption of alternative energy sources, they need to know that the private sector is already making that happen here in Texas, helped by incentives from this state. <clears throat> As a result, <clears throat> we've installed more wind generation in Texas than any other state. And I might add, more than all but three other countries in the world. Texas is a leader in clean coal research, 
has more carbon-free nuclear plants under development than any other state. We're also fostering the uh, development of solar generation and other renewable energy technologies through our Emerging Technology Fund and our Enterprise Fund. In short, Texas is making great strides in alternative fuels in a way that rewards innovation, it creates jobs, and it attracts investment. The methods under consideration by EPA will punish innovation, it will cost jobs, and it will drive investment out of Texas and overseas. Now make no mistake about it, China and India and other countries will be more than happy to welcome businesses driven out of the United States by these costly regulations. They'll happily take the jobs and the emissions with them, meaning that the federal government will have accomplished nothing except irreparable cost to our economy. Texas is not pleased with the changes under consideration. And I'm calling on the EPA to fight the urge to include greenhouse gases in the Clean Air Act. We'd rather find ways to unleash our economy, not strangle it.